the Premier Soccer League presents the ABSA Premiership. All the goals. All the saves. All the fans. The ABSA Premiership. Recaufer. Welcome to Super Stadium. We're in Atchitville for this evening's Absa Premiership encounter as Matatanta Pitori take on the Dube Birds. It's Swallows who visit the reigning double league champions led by Bongani Kumalo, who's also sporting a brand new kit tonight. The new kit being unveiled by Supersport United for this evening's fixture, now sponsored, would you believe, by American suppliers Under Armour. More about that though as the game progresses. This is certainly going to be a hard fought fixture as under German co trainer Torbel, Moroga Swallows have started to look like a really solid outfit. They've won their last two league games and they're going to be challenging Supersport United all the way through. And then in the middle, uh, Fayek Daniels is going to be leading the match officials as Moses Pale and Numbula Masilela, one of the female FIFA panelists, takes charge of the second assistant role on the far side of the park. Bongani Kumalo leads uh, the uh, Supersport United outfit for this evening's encounter. The man right on the end is certainly one of the danger men, Ashraf Henriks for Moroga Swallows, and has been seen as one of the best signings for any team in the Absa Premiership in this uh, past off season. Fayek Daniels shaking the hands to his left is Johnny Detoy, Numbula Masilela to his right. Moses Pale the man nearest to your screen right now and uh, there are ructions saying that he might very well be on the FIFA panel next year more about that as well later but Supersport United four changes from the side that played to a one-all draw against Sundowns on Saturday night Bangase out back comes Morgan Gould fresh from the Bafana Bafana trip to Germany and, uh, and Ireland and Gorsi's out through suspension in comes Malulege Carlos is out and Salmon is injured so getting a start is Umoni as far as Swallows are concerned only one change from the side that snatched a late win on uh, Sunday against Santos Cobola's out Ashraf Henriks returns from suspension so as far as the formations are concerned this is how they're going to be lining up Baron in goal September going to be starting on the wide right Morgan Gould and Kamala's but the danger is really going to come from the midfield with Clayt and Malolega in particular. Lefort and Umoni need to start proving themselves as strikers if they are too impressed for this league season. And then for Moroga Swallows, Davi Rankin adapted so well to his new midfield role alongside him. Alves Kamalo, very dangerous, scored in the win over Santos. So the subs for you, not too much to pick from as far as experience is concerned. Though the likes of Mpundo Shumana and Lungusani and Lela could prove dangerous coming off the bench for Moroga Swallows. So Fayek Daniels takes charge of this evening's APSA Premiership encounter, ably assisted by Moses Pale and uh, Numbula Maslela, one of South Africa's FIFA panellists. That's her on the far side. And would you believe during the uh, recent fitness test for match officials, she outperformed many of the men in uh, the fitness test. So certainly a credit to her country. She's uh, performed all around the world alongside Deirdre Mitchell, who's South Africa's only female referee in the FIFA ranks. So Fayek Daniels is set to get this match underway just checking with his assistants and his fourth official Johnny Detoy who gives him the signal now and Fayek Daniels gets this AMSA Premiership match underway it's Supersport United the home side playing from right to left in your screen for this opening half and certainly looking fresh and fit and wanting to impress in this new kit but early touches not too good to unable to uh, pick up on the near side so uh, Swallows could find some early momentum Ramajan Pashlele Long ball in and uh, away by Morgan Gould. Scored the very first league goal of the season against Maritzburg United, just 25 odd minutes into the game. Now, Ashraf Henriks. Well, this past two seasons, he was the danger man for uh, Bitvest Fitz. Keegan Ritchie, and he got his debut over the weekend and uh, gets his second start for Moroga Swallows. 
Germany looking to uh, continue impressing coach Rene Zobel. Ironically, he came from the uh, Supersport United youth ranks. Now, Dabi Rankat goes in for a big challenge, double-footed challenge. It takes out his own man. A touch forward from Sisu Kumalo now on the overlap. Offside is the call. Moses Pile with his flag up on the near side. This time, Numberte with a run. Pele. Certainly very quick, and sometimes just uh, his timing runs as uh, Sibonga Novete. Had somewhat of a problem with it uh, playing for Bafana Bafana in years gone by. Emil Baron, man of the match in his Super Sport United debut against Sundowns on Sat Saturday, so we'll be looking to hold on to the number one jersey ahead of Dedos Onyango. This poor guy to play on the far side. Chip over the top. In full control, unfortunately, not able to uh, show any. Far side, Malarega. Now, September. Such a versatile player in September. Speaking of versatile, so is uh, that man Shivambu. Supersport looking for possession deep inside the territory of Swallows towards the back post. Dane Clayton making a desperate run. Keeps it in play. Well, I thought he'd kept it in play. They looked close. And I certainly felt that uh, Dane Clayton had kept that in play. Well, looks like it was out from that angle. So Greg Itafia, of the Nigerian internationals playing for Moroga Swallows. Certainly has been wanting to get back into the international fold for Nigeria. They're not performing quite as well as they would have liked in qualifying for the FIFA World Cup. They now need Tunisia to drop points in their remaining two fixtures if Nigeria are to qualify for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Supersport on the attack here yeah, inside the area. Good low shot taken and nearly deflected in. Making the run at the back post was uh, Lafour, but a wonderful ball it was all created by a man on debut, Tandani Tumaelo. Clay coming in, little run over the top. Tumaelo with a little touch out to Malalega, pulled the trigger. And, uh, Tumaelo, what a wonderful opportunity for him to uh, claim a debut under Gavin Hunt for the double reigning league champions. Kevin Hunt is definitely taking a chance with a man who's only just turned 19 to uh, make a debut against a side like Baroga Swallows. He seemed to be high flying, if you'll pardon the pun. Molevega, just a little cut back on the inside to, uh, to Maelo. Oh, the four. He struggled with control on the near side for uh, a number of games already, and Gavin Hunt is absolutely fuming. Well, this is his reaction moments afterwards, but his initial reaction was of absolute disgust. Letladi Madabanya is so hard in the midfield, but bear in mind all the other games he's played for Supersport United this season, he's uh, been alongside Sibong Ngozi, who's suspended for today's encounter. Madabanya, a solid, powerful defensive midfielder. September. A little thread through as uh, Brian Umorni tried the run upfield. Now, Lafour can feed it through for Clay. Umorni's running square, and this time a good defensive effort from Batlele. It's hard to believe that Ramatlian Batlele is still only 19 years old. And this time a great defensive effort from uh, Batlele. Dane Clay using his pace down this near side, but Batlele showing that he's not going to be beaten. Will be the man wearing the captain's armband when South Africa head off to Egypt to play in only the second ever in the 20 World Cup. Ooh. Slip on the dewy surface from uh, Tafia. He actually came into the Nigerian international setup when uh, Vincent Nyema put himself on a somewhat of a self imposed exile from the Nigerian national team. And then, of course, uh, he was dropped for the next 18 months for ironically making his return against South Africa in a 
World Cup qualifier, Africa Cup of Nations qualifier rather, for um, 2008 AFCON. South Africa went on to lose by two goals to nil in Abuja. Greg Atafia, though, had been in goal for Nigeria before then, hasn't received a call up since. Keegan Ritchie, a little touch down the line, looking to find Kumalo, who shares a smile. Well, you might not see it there, but you'll see, if you get a full shot of him later, why he's nicknamed Busuma. His uh, sheer physical presence, very imposing individual, decent. Run down the flank on the far side, looking for the ball in was Lafour. Yes! So the German coach, Rena Torbel, former Bayern Munich player who's now in charge of Morocco Swallows. Only been in charge for two odd months. Seems to be finding some unity with the squad that he's got. by Kumalo wearing the captain's armband and leading by example collision in the middle of the park and uh, one of the Swallows players has remained down and I think Fyke Daniels has stopped it because he might be worried about how serious the injury is Ashraf Hendricks is saying no no I don't want any medical attention too late it's already been called for now Ashraf Hendricks has got uh, a history of injuries I think based more on the unfortunate car accident he was involved in a couple of years ago which uh, some serious medical treatment was needed including a number of pins in his body so he's taken a beating over the years particularly on the park this time the collision upfield with Mwani this time doesn't look to be any damage to the bone structure but uh, maybe a little collision with the stomach Super Sport United fans, they've grown in numbers over the past couple of seasons, not surprisingly, with uh, two league titles. But the Swallows fans look on, slightly shorter supply here at Super Stadium this evening. Still come out to uh, support their team. Gould calls it back from Tomailo. It's really been thrown in at the deep end here. Sat on the bench for the first time last week uh, in the last game against Sundowns and uh, makes his debut against Swallows. Dane Clay, wonderful footwork, rounds Hendricks twice. Still holding on to it. Dane Clay, can he find a way? Does beat his man and eventually the foul being committed by Hendricks and free kick goes the way of Supersport United right near the corner flag. So an ideal opportunity from the set pieces. Oh, it's the right leg of Hendricks. Just catching the ankle of uh, Dane Clayt. It's time Maluleke in towards Atafio, punches away confidently, coming off his line. Now the great surge down the near side, Igor Alves, wonderful run, he's trying to set up the counter-attack here. It's Collins Basuma, will he try from range? He's making a run inside the 18-yard area now. Swallows looking really dangerous, but the poor touch on the far side by Nombete sees all momentum lost. September claiming a foul doesn't go his way. And now Swallows back on the attack, just over the head of the man, advancing nearly an own goal, Bongani Kumalo. What were you thinking? Looking to control, perhaps lay it back to Baron. Wasn't sure where the man was behind him, but uh, an unfortunate moment at the back for Supersport United. Oh, he was looking to glance it out towards the corner flag. Lucky not to concede. First corner of the game. Oh, there's in and at the near post. Another corner kick has been called as Shivambu claims it's come off September's head. Officials agreed. Alves and Baron. Two key men in this moment, and away again by the defense. This time it's Gould with his head on the end of it, but not cleared sufficiently. Eventually, it is through the Uganda Numoni. Keegan Ritchie trying to feed it back in. Swallow still on the attack here inside the area, and away by Tabo September. And danger has now been averted, it seems.
Super Sport United looking to turn things around. Goal as it is after the opening 10 minutes. Lulega, far side. Richie, comfortable and confident. Usuma claiming a foul, doesn't get it. Clayt. Alves, Nombete, busy player, makes the run. Kumala's with him all the way, and Nombete nearly came away with it. Towards the back post, and uh, Baron immediately the call that Musuma wasn't going to get on the end of it. He's managed to keep it at play. Two men still in the 18 yard area. Shot taken straight at Baron. has created a couple of decent chances in the last couple of minutes. Moduanya, looking for September. Malulege, Tumaelo. Feeding out to September again as United now have three players moving forward. Madabanya looks to find one of them. What a wonderful pass. Lafour, three men in the area. Can he pull it back? Surely deflected in. Super Sport take the lead. What a wonderful run up set up by Malalege. And he's finished it off as well. Well, Jabulani Malalege was the man that was hoping to create something. The congratulations for Malalege. Lafour, the build-up, and Tumaelo involved as well. But Maropanya's pass, inch perfect to that far side. Pull back, and the man who struck it in, celebrations as Malalega followed up a wonderful run by Lafour. Deflected in of Ashraf Hendricks, but that looked to be a goal for all it was worth. A great goal for Jabulani Malalega. And Super Sport United now find themselves in the lead with just 13 minutes gone in the Samsa Premiership encounter. Now the pressure on Moroga Swallows. No better. Cool kick it'll be. Ball in, nodded away by into defence. Just Ruba inside the area again. Nice tie ball. The offside flag is up. Great. Looking to set up another here. Omoni inside the area is driven wide. Ball back in and nearly a handball. Seven Swallows players back in defence. Eventually it's Runkan. Takes it away. and it's a decent option as well. Wonderful delivery again from Supersport United. Lafour slows it up, but still two men to go at. Can he square it? Or oh, trying to get fancy. That was a handball, though, and Fayek Daniels rightly awards a free kick to Supersport just outside the area. Uh, the arguments coming from the Swallows captain, but the protests are being denied. Maybe a slip, but definitely a handball. Doesn't matter if it's unfortunate. Lafour certainly lost all the momentum when there were two players waiting for the square ball. But this now is still the opportunity to beat Itafia again.
going to strike it. Clayt plays it back for Lafour. Straight at Greg Atafia. Low, flat and hard, but not really testing Atafia. Not wide enough to test Atafia. There's a gap opening up for a smack towards Atafia's near post. Not exploited by United. Now, quick ball. Rankin finds Henriks and again to Patele. Challenge by Suruba, turned down. Clayt inside, Moa. Good free kick, and this time W. Runken is going to be spoken to by Fine Daniels. Back live before. Turning again, nearly lost possession, recovered by Tumaelo. Side. September under a little bit of pressure. Lunga trying to get involved. Eventually, September comes away with it. Down the line he goes again, looking for Morney. King and Ritchie quickly onto it. In his second game as a professional, King and Ritchie. band is uh, enjoying themselves their side leads by a goal to nil see the conductor of this brass band so Clayton from the corner kick nice high floating ball it was looking towards the back post and Marubanya's missed by inches he's missed by inches Oh, wonderful ball floated in by Clayton. It was far too far for uh, Itafia to uh, come out and challenge for it. And ultimately, Badabanya knows how close he came to scoring for Super Sport United. between these sides at the moment. Swallows looking to fight back inside the opening half. But as yet have uh, not quite dominated the final third of Supersport United, who've defended particularly tightly. But uh, some of the through balls from Supersport United have been absolutely inch perfect this evening. Oh, this time, September, nodded the ball away and uh, I think inadvertently lost his footing over Collins Masumo, who was already on the ground. And Free kick goes the way of 
Oh, well, it was a challenge off the ball of Morgan Gould that uh, Fai Daniels would have blown for. Continued instructions from the big man. Ball fed in towards the back post. Henriks is there, and that's the equaliser. A wonderful equaliser. Bele Numbeda gets his second of the season, and suddenly Moroga Swallows, who was searching for that equaliser, get a repast eight minutes after United took the lead. Well, Moroga Swallows, they've showed a great amount of character in this uh, last couple of weeks, and they've now managed to find the equaliser against the championship winning side and could very well go on to deny the league champions. Perron concedes his first goal from open play and goal for Supersport United, but the celebrations for Swallows as they take the lead against this United outfit who've defended so solidly. Nombete, thumbs up. Thanks, lads. Nice of you to feed me. It's uh, Nombete. It's uh, another, surprisingly, only getting his third start this evening. He gets his second goal for Moroga Swallows. Time of September. Trying to turn and play. Down the near side, suddenly, Sertimoa, the like, are uh, pushing a lot deeper. It's Igor Alves, wants to do some defensive work. To Swallows last season, but didn't see much game time. Brian Amoni this time, poor control from the Ugandan. He actually played for Kampala City Council last season, the Ugandan side that knocked Supersport United out of the CAF Champions League in the second round. And uh, makes his way to Supersport United. And scored against them to help uh, knock the side out of the for the championship. Marabanya came so close to getting his first goal for Supersport United just a moment ago. Wonderful corner kick from Clayt. And again, a wonderful pass this time by September. Laying up Umoni. Two men in the area. Clayt is there. Oh, and it's a good challenge by Atapia. Might have been a bit too reckless, though. It's still alive for Supersport. Who's wanting it? Moa feeds in. Near side again. Maybe is it a little too long? Marabanya, the man who fed it across towards the back post. Malulege. Still bounding around. September! Oh, fizzes by Atafia's goal. Well, that is a worthwhile effort from Tabo September. Might have taken a slight deflection, but wow, did he hit that with a fair amount of power. And Greg Atafia relieved to see it missing his goalpost, but I'll tell you, that was not far away from Tabo September getting another goal for Supersport United. Gavin Hunt so desperate that his side reclaims the lead here. September has only come into the side after a host of injuries has uh, forced Kevin Hunt to reshuffle things at the back. Ricardo Cutzer, the good news is he started light training again, so might make his way back into this United outfit. The question is, where is he going to fit in? Again, the big challenge. Gould, this time concedes the free kick. Morgan Gould. He's uh, sitting on two yellow cards, is Morgan Gould. Big shoulder off the wall for Igor Alves. Called by Moses Pale on the near side, and free kick goes the way of Swallows. It's Gould. Ron happy with the two man wall. Alves over it. Goes almost directly at Baron and uh, almost an obstructing run coming in from uh, Morgan Chivambu. Really disrupting Baron as he looked to clear it away. Chivambu again, still up for the challenge. Igor Alves flicked on. Norbert over the top. Basuma running on. And again, it's Morgan Gould to the rescue. Tsurupa. Not seeing too much action in the middle of the park. Now, Kumalo. Big challenges coming in. Kumalo on the far side. The uh, man going down under the challenge. Oh, Letladi Marubanya. And I think you can see the water spurting off. It's wet here at Super Stadium. 
Uh, both players immediately rolling around in agony. So Lissadi Maribanya and uh, Sisu Kumalo scored against Santos. He scored the winner only a few minutes from time for Moroga Swallows in the last game. And uh, Maribanya nearly scored to Super Sport United to give them a 2 0 lead a couple of minutes ago. And themselves both being stretched from the park. So, Letladi Maribanya, looks like he's picked up a caution for the challenge. And, uh, both players challenging for the ball and unfortunately losing out. So, Maribanya picks up a caution. And free kick, more importantly, for Swallows just outside the area. Oh, over the top from Tuturupa, chance for another here. Ashraf Henriks had a big collision with one of his own players. I think it's Basuma. But Supersport come away with it. Maoa, wonderful run from Tumaelo. He's got support on his inside, lays it back for Lafour, who just hands it away. Well, Lafour can score them, but he wastes multiple opportunities every game. So far, I've been uh, fairly impressed with the touches of uh, young Tandani Tumaelo. On debut. Kevin Hunt puts it, taking a chance on a youngster he feels has potential. And Sumasuma through the legs of Morgan Gould, and eventually Gould wins it back, but only as far as Nomvete over the top of Alves who made the run in. Pele Nomvete. His goal-scoring boots have not been quite as effective as uh, they were in his younger years. It's the tussle between Gould and Basuma. Gould might not be nearly as big and physically strong as Basuma, but there's no one that doubts how tough he is. Madubanya again won the aerial battle. Gould puts it away just to uh, immediate safety. Confirmation of uh, Maravanya's yellow card moments before being stretched from the park. Lele trying to find Alves, and this time it's out for the corner. Tsutimaua didn't believe that was the case. Alves thanking Moses Pali for making what he felt was the correct decision. Granit Zorbal instructions from the near side as Swallows look to take the lead from the set piece. Getting the big challenge from Bungani Kumalo. So Ramatla Patele, he can throw them long on the edge of the 18-yard area, looks to get it in. He can put him a long way in indeed, inside the area, Tuturupa got a shot away, Gould put his body on the line, and I think Tuturupa's the man that's come off second best. Down he goes, ball back in, Baron claims it, danger over, but limping away is the Swallows' captain. Counter-attack is on for Super Sports, Tuturupa trying to run off the foot injury, as uh, Super Sport fail to take advantage of what would have been the ideal counting it counter attack so Malalege gave United the lead Novete though equalized a few minutes afterwards and it's game on again at Super Stadium in Ettridgeville as United go in search of a full three points going down the line and going to Maelo with some wonderful touches. Uh, 
Lafour. Too close to it, Tafia. He's uh, been known to spill a few balls in uh, years gone by. Most notably against uh, Collins Masubo, now plays as one of his strikers. For the poachers roll out of screen is Collins Basuma. Again, another one of the Swallows players. Down he goes. Is that uh, the goal scorer, I think? Sibor Nombet. Is he clutching onto his right leg? Siobhan Nombete looking to... Oh, has he pulled a hamstring of sorts? There's no challenge. Looking to add to his goal-scoring tally, he's got two already. So, coach and captain in consultation. So, no challenge, Nombete very well have pulled something and I think they might have to uh, go to the bench early on Murga Swallows Lungasani and Lela might be the man to come on as the replacement Lela might be waking his way onto the park. In fact, uh, I think he is going to be making his way onto the park now. And there's looking to control. Tabo September wins it back, but Basuma's got it now for Swallows. Alves comes away with it. Sevonga Nobete makes the long walk to the change rooms, and I think he's pulled a muscle, at least uh, strained a muscle. Look at this, just a walk off the ball and got rid of it, but suddenly just pulled up under no pressure from any of the United players. And uh, will take no further part in this game. So as uh, play will get back underway from uh, this free kick to Supersport United after the challenge by Bukhlele. Lunasani and Lela, I can tell you, has made his way onto the park to replace Siobhan Nombete. He scored the equaliser, the former Bafana Bafana striker. And now he's made his way to the change room after uh, pulling what seemed to be a hamstring or a thigh muscle. So King and Ritchie just being spoken to by uh, referee Daniels. Set piece to United. Nice and high, and uh, a little too firm, I'd suggest. In a way, it bounds over Itafia's goal line. in the middle, Collins Basuma nearly came away with it, Kamala went down, swinging leg from uh, Basuma, this is Pale flagging it on the near side, certainly one of the rising stars of the assistant referees world, Flicking to United now, a good run here by Madabanya. flick over the top, can it be, will it be? And Itafia just too quickly onto it, it was a decent attempt by United. A very clever little flick over the top from Madabanya. On the near side, Clates looking to keep it back in play.
time flagged by Mrs. Pali in the opposite direction. Kusuma still desperately searching for his opening goal for Swallows this season. Now Tumaelo, lovely touches from Tumaelo on that far side, takes a crack and the confidence is building from the youngster. Well, he was claiming there was a touch. Claiming there was uh, a deflection. This personally didn't see it, but... Uh, but it's definitely starting to build when you're trying to beat Sabrina Tapia from that sort of range on your debut. Challenge on that far side, and uh, Sisu Kumalo has been penalised for the challenge on Umoni. Oh, that's a nasty incident. Nothing malicious, I think, from Kumalo, but certainly could cause some serious damage. Firstly, he was in the air, and secondly, a big swinging leg. Keegan Ritchie concedes the corner. And hitting them high in this the high altitude here at Super Stadium in Atridgeville. It's up here. The six yard area is certainly very crowded, but as far as aerial ability is concerned, they've got Glela on their side, and that would be a positive. Being run over was Umoni alive for United, who hit a goal bound. Manubanya gets his first goal ever for Supersport United. Letlani Manubanya has promised so much and he's finally delivered. What a wonderful strike from Manubanya. He's worked so hard, he's deserved a few goals. He's set up plenty for this side. And now he finally gets his name on the score sheet for his club. After nearly two full seasons in uh, that number 16 jersey for Supersport United, he finally gets uh, some sort of reward in the form of a goal. Etafia came off his line, punched it away, could not recover in time though, and Marubanya sliding in, finds the uh, goal that puts United back in the front with five minutes to go to the half-time break. Chip over the top. Marubanya. Supersport back that lead. Chibambu. Oh, Marabanya. Oh, he's looking for another one tonight. Marabanya lays it out to the far side. Lafour. Lafour cuts back in, but he can't beat Keegan Ritchie. Inside the area, Dane Clay can't pull it back, and goal kick it'll be. Oh, on the near side, 
And suddenly Super Sport United looking far more threatening since Madhuanya's goal. His first ever goal for Super Sport United, who are dominating possession, but not by much against the visiting Swallow side. Clayton's looking for options, fed it to Mo on the near side, who can't quite keep it in play. Can't control on the near side and the goal line it goes. Tsitomo uh, is the man trying to make the run, the initial run, and then the uh, subsequent run. He's now back in defense and helping out. Wins it as Maduanya looks to control, but Ndlela is away for Swallows. Bear in mind, Luzani Ndlela actually played for. Super Sport United for just over a season. Run down that far side. Good little comeback from Kamalo. Keegan Ritchie, nice high floating ball. Lungasani and Lela searching for it and just over the top of Lungasani and Lela. And you know that's a high ball when it goes just over the top of Lela. The effort is released by Alves. It's a decent effort as well because Masuma, the man following up. He's got that poacher's instinct still as Collins Basuma. The man who's got a little bit of thinking to do. Rainer Zorbel, the German coach, 60-year-old who has over 20 years of coaching experience. Well, what's been very impressive in this match so far is that the majority of shots that have been taken have been on target, which is a rare change in recent weeks in absolute premiership action. Been a distinct lack of goals, and a uh, number of teams have needed to start looking at themselves this past weekend. All eight fixtures, all 16 teams in action, and uh, only 10 goals were scored, and a good majority of those came from the penalty mark. Two of them in Super Sport United's clash with Mamalodi Sundowns. Baron with a good call at the back, under no pressure, called for it from Kumalo. Looking for Umoni, Runkan can feed away and free kick goes the way of uh, Moroga Swallows. The fight Daniels has refereed this game fairly solidly. He's only dished out one yellow card for a rash challenge by Madabanya. Now the ball's getting free here, if Swallows can pick up on it. And Kumalo under pressure concedes a throw in. Suma chasing hard but quite compete with the pace of uh, the young Kumalo. Rankin to Patlele. Nobody couldn't keep it in play. And his head dropped immediately. He knew he'd let his team down with that poor bit of handling on the near side. This is why Renan Zobel has been so quick to point out that he needs some experience and leadership on the park. I can tell you, as we hit the 45 though, that two minutes of time has been added on. So play back on the way through a throw in on the near side. My lord to take again. This time a push and a shove from Patlele. And uh, Moni's won Super Sport United a free kick. A minute and a half to play to the break. They lead by two goals to one. Patlele. It's one of three players who are going to be off to the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Egypt later this month. Of course, uh, I, Kumalo and uh, Pumalele Bengu on the Swallows lineup. So they're going to be off to Egypt. Patlele, over the top. Sumo was there, but it's won by the tenacity of Mawa. Marabanya getting involved, couldn't quite control those. Runken intercepted quite nicely. The Brazilians combining. Igor Alves onto Basuma. There's a threat now lurking from Swallows if they can feed it through. Basuma is lurking on the near side. Glela controls. Can he take a shot? Does take a shot. Deflected offside is Basuma. Who tries for the acrobatic rather than the spectacular. 
30 seconds to go. Offside. And uh, the Suma trying to work the ball away. Now, the free kick was taken quickly, and uh, owing to time, Faik Daniels only cautioned Ramatlian Bachlele shortly after the uh, play had been completed by Baron picking up the effort from Basuma. So, Bachlele gets the second caution of the game. Now, Baron might be tested here with just seconds to go to the break. Madhavanya won't allow it, though. Nafor. Nafor again. Oh, and Faik Daniels blows for half-time as Gavin Hunt's side looked like they were well and truly on course for uh, another goal. Although Anthony Lafour, his control has been so poor in this first half. He did, however, manage to set up the opening goal of the match. A wonderful little cutback on the far side of the park. Pulled it back for Jabal Malulege to find his way to the back of the net. Malulege got the opener for Supersport, having signed from Black Leopards in the off-season. And then Lethladi Madubanya with his first ever goal for Supersport United. Giving the lead back to United after Baron had conceded his first goal in open play for Supersport United to the man who played for Bafana Bafana for a number of years, Bele Numbete, who unfortunately had to leave the field of play through injury. So half time, it's been certainly box to box stuff. Can Swallows come back against the league champions at the break? They're 2 1 up. The Premier Soccer League presents. The ABSA Premiership. All the goals. All the saves. All the fans. Welcome back to Super Stadium. We're in Attridgeville for now. The second half of the Samsa Premiership encounter between Supersport United and Moroga Swallows. That's some Fundo Shumana warming up on the uh, near side of the park. And Fundo Shumana is uh, looking for a way into this first lineup, the starting lineup of Moroga Swallows. He's made his way to the side from Ajax Cape Town after uh, what has turned out to be an interesting career. He stayed at Ajax from the youth development all the way through, but he's now finally made the move to see if he can find some more regular game time. Swallows with the team meeting in the middle of the park, led by one of the Brazilians, Davi Rankin, but certainly comments from all around, it seems. But it's Supersport United who lead by two goals to one at the half-time break. And Matatanta Pitori look to be cruising for a, another win in the league season this season. Well, so far, it's turned out to be an uninspiring affair with only one game that they've won in five. And that is not the way they need to... Uh, to handle things. Igor Alves makes way for Fundo Schumana officially as a substitution for Swallows. That's Dane Clayt. But now Fundo Schumana makes only a second appearance for Moroga Swallows and he'll be glad to be getting a run out. He certainly looked to impress uh, coach Rene Zobel. He made his uh, debut run for Moroga Swallows in their last league game against Santos. And perhaps a little prayer for some divine intervention and a clean sheet in the second half for Emil Baron who just uh, has a quiet word at his end on the near side of the park. So Faik Daniels gets the uh, second half underway in Supersport United. Oh, they were uh, actually in position. Fundo Shimano, early possession, but loses it. Keegan Ritchie can't quite control it out to Kamalo on the near side. So if you aren't just tuning in, I can tell you that Keegan Ritchie is having a decent game for Swallows at the back. Although United have managed to break through twice. Flagged by Moses Palo on the near side. Free kick goes Swallows' way. So uh, Brian Amorni is asking questions saying, uh, excuse me, what was that for? By the way, Swallows turned over position with a free kick. Maybe. Made two substitutions already though. Sebong Anombe did score the equalising goal, or it was at the time for Moroga Swallows, just 22 minutes into the game, and then pulled up with what looked to be a hamstring injury, and was replaced by Lungasani and Lela. And now Schumann is on at half time for Igor Alves, who put in some decent performances and had a couple of shots at Baron's goal. So when you consider how Alves played in the first half, September and Kumala enjoy a battle on the near side. I wonder if uh, the obvious substitution might have been injury enforced as well. All the way. Good morning. Laid it back. Clayt through. Now Lafour, if he can run on to the end of it. He does run on to the end of it. But Ashraf Hendricks enough to recover as Richie made the all important touch. Well, Morgan 
Gould showing his experience this time around, beating Basuma. Marlo running on, no match for Septembo had some ball control on the far side. Before control of his chest, shielding the ball, but where's he going to go? The little back heel was looking for Clay to cut back nicely. Turn and go from Madubanya. His knee strapped for the second half. Might have picked up a knock, just looking to prevent something. Now, to Maelo, on debut. For a way through, Jabulani Malelege. Now, Omoni, can he work it past? Oh, no, Itafia not tested at all as Omoni looked to take the strike. And straight at Greg Itafia. And over the top, September needs to defend. Malo, the big lad. Tumoni, who was sure a while ago, didn't have the best of efforts towards Gregor Tafia's goal. Just the edge of the park, though. It's Baron to get it upfield. from the far side. And uh, as this game progresses, Renan Torbal and his assistant Zaki Marks will be asking question after question. Devon had such a busy coach. Fed it on towards Basuma, looked to be finding Lungasani Tlela, who runs for all he's worth, but unable to control it all. Over the top, Tlela, very late on the run. This time Gould went down. There's a few of the Sipsport United players warming up, amongst them Tabo Mulego and Tabo Mongalo. Two players who are also looking to continue impressing Coach Gavin Hunt. Hunt's in too much game time, but will be wanting it. Tumaelo on debut. He's been thoroughly impressive. Gavin Hunt has yet to make a change so far, though. Tough here, not quite sure what he was aiming to do there, but it didn't go quite according to plan. Skewed it off the side of his boot on the near side. go and Rona Morning has control can he slide in the square ball can't quite do it and Kumalo looking to get away this time to Maelo going in for the challenge but he's wondering what uh, the free kick was uh, awarded for by the way Swallows have possession on the near side taken quickly by Richie Della glanced off his head towards Basuma who if he controls could prove dangerous here looking to pull it back to Turupa can't quite run onto the end of it his plate clears offside was Zumoni he challenged for it and 
Ja, nu går vi om. Slala. Kambani kan få Fede Henriks. Way by September. Instructions on the near side of the park. Over the top, Swallows again. It's looking dangerous. Collins Masuma near the goal line. Ball stays in play, and eventually, free kick goes the way of Moronga Swallows. Flat for Ron, very brave keeping, running with his back toward the oncoming players, kicking it out of the air. Lafour. Oh, and Keegan Richards, a brave defence from the young man. Fundo Schumana, looking to hit it low and flat. Who wants it? So a little touch of control from uh, Malolega and then on to Lafour again. It's Malolega, scorer of the first goal. Now Malolega through ball again. The touches, the through balls from United have been utterly delightful this evening. Dane Clay, great control. How he stays on the end of the ball is somewhat of a question towards the back post and Uwani is just skied it, couldn't quite get back far enough. And coach Gavin Hunt fuming. And it's not the worst effort, I'll tell you that much. Certainly not the worst effort. And he would have expected something from it, would uh, Gavin Hunt. to reel in. to one is the score as it stood at the halftime break and it remains as such despite some efforts from both these sides to find extra goals in the match this time a probing run from Swissisa Kumalo brought to an end but illegally this is fine Daniels and uh, the Super Sport United fans continue to sing that their side needs to defend a free kick to Drupa over it too far away from goal but can't find the head of the Swallows player Ashraf Henrik's the man at the back he scored some crucial goals of course while he was at Bitvest Vitz but uh, Unable to find the back of the nets this time for Moroga Swallows or so far this season to the sixth game. Well, a couple of super sport players who are hoping to get a run this evening. This is to your screen, Klumpo Kekana, who was certainly an integral part of the title winning team last season, but uh, he's been passed over for the past two games. Firstly for Brent Carlson and then for uh, the youngster Tandani Tumaelo, who's earning his debut today. Switch from 
midfield to defence over a season since the Swallows over the past couple of seasons, or at least as a regular in the Swallows outfit. Dela looking to control. He goes down to Ramachka Bachele, who's taken off his feet by Clegg, not intentionally. Play on says Fying Daniels. Good advantage by the referee. Basuma pulls it back. The trigger pulled by Mfundo Shimana. The half time substitute with his first shot at Baron's goal. Not enough power from it to uh, beat Emil Baron. But inside an hour, we've seen 11 shots on targets in this game. And the quality of football has been decent, although Lafour's control has been utterly abysmal this evening. Bar the uh, run we set up the opening goal of the game. Now, Mawua. It's a deep, but just a little too deep for Umoni. Kumalo to Keegan Ritchie and put in that clearance and see his right knee is bleeding. Challenge a short while ago. He's certainly been all over the park, is Keegan Ritchie. But that man, Ashraf Henriks, always dangerous. Over the top, decent ball by Ritchie and Baron called and shepherding it all the way back to Baron was Morgan Gould. It's been all over Collins Basuma this evening. With the top, Dane Clates looking to control, but hands it only back to Ramazga Patlele. Plays it to his captain, nearly wrong footed, ball out of play. Says Numbula Masilela. She's one of four South African uh, panelists on FIFA. Numbula Masilela. She's had it tough, but not as tough as Keegan Ritchie. Blood on his right knee, just suggesting how hard it's been. Well, there's certainly not much to choose between these sides over the years, but I can tell you it's been a long time since Moroga Swallows have actually beaten Supersport United. So long, in fact, that Gavin Hunt was still in charge at Moroga Swallows back in uh, early 2006 when Tabucho Munyai managed to get uh, the only goal of the game against Supersport. This time Morgan Gould, touching onto his head. I don't think there was any contact from uh, Collins Basuma's boot. By the way, correct call was made by Fike Daniels. Because Fike Daniels has been... Uh, as Runkan puts in a decent uh, challenge, but Abanya came flying in, but Runkan somehow came away with the ball. Playing in that defensive midfield role for Swallows this evening. This is Rupa, very physical in the middle of the park, incredibly fit, laying it off to uh, Schumana. A little bit of a struggle against Malulege before eventually winning the free kick. And Tumaelo, uh, the man with the challenge in the middle of the park. Willem Aslela on the far side. Well, she's uh, incredibly fit assistant referee. She's looking to continue impressing on the international fold in South Africa. As I mentioned earlier, she's actually surpassed a number of the men in uh, fitness tests in this country. trickle over the goal line. So I can tell you that uh, while the break has happened in play, it's time for a substitution. Brian Amorni, completely ineffective in this evening's game, uh, the former Kampala City Council striker who came into the starting lineup today to actually replace the injured Glenn Salmon, makes his way off the park, and the man coming on, Tabo Mungalo, 
it's only a second league appearance for Supersport United. He's already scored a goal though for uh, Supersport, not in the league, but uh, in the loss to Amazulu in the MT8. Tabamongalo scored with uh, only 60 odd seconds to go to full time and take the Amazulu uh, quarter final to extra time. He's already impressed a few Supersport United fans and certainly impressed that man, Gavin Hunt. Took a little bit of a knock there, did uh, Mongalo. Well, standing firm was Morgan Shivambu. Held his line. as far as September but now Tumaelo onto it wins it back so nicely he's really been impressive and the confidence is just built in his early touches were uh, not quite full of confidence there was a, an abundance of nerves it seemed as all his early passes went backwards he would look forward look up and seem to work the ball backwards but suddenly he started to blossom he even took a long-range effort towards Greg Duffy's goal shortly before the halftime break Rankin, though, has been putting a spoke in the works as Supersport United have looked to surge forward. They have, however, managed to get six shots on target. It's on the far side of the play. Whistle from Fine Daniels just uh, suggesting to Tietamawa he had better hurry it up. Fine Daniels, unfortunate that uh, he's not really, I feel, been given the opportunities as uh, some of the other referees. But he's uh, a very solid referee who makes good conscious decisions and uh, certainly allows common sense to run his officiating, which is always a credit. Renard Zobel might be a little more appreciative on that fact that uh, Swallow's been leading. But it's certainly not by any fault of the referee that they're not. Funny Daniels being assessed this evening by Ian McLeod, his FIFA assessor, referee's assessor for the FIFA World Cup matches in Africa. It's a high honour for a man who's uh, been to the World Cup. Now, I can tell you that Funny Daniels and Moses Pile are having a little consultation on the near side of the park. Well, they're just having a little bit of a chat. I wonder what it was about. But uh, Frank Daniels is being watched very closely by Ian McLeod. Morgan Gould, though, with a throw in, deep throw in. Runkins there to clear it, and again, it'll be a super sport throw in on the near side. Again, a dangerous throw in. Runkin cleared the last attempt in by Morgan Gould. Frank Daniels wants to have a word with uh, Morgan Gould. He's thrown away the ball that was given to him. And Frank Daniels is just suggesting, let's hurry it up. We don't want any time wasting. Morgan Gould's already on, on a yellow card. So if he picks up a caution today, we'll miss the next game for Supersport United inside the area. Mongala pulls it back and it's taken a deflection. It's out for the corner kick. So continued pressure here with 20 minutes into the second half. And Supersport United will again try to score from a set piece. That's the youngster Mongalo signed from Black Leopards. Of course, Gavin Hunt started his career as a coach at Seven Stars, but uh, went on to make his name at Black Leopards. Towards the back post, Bongani Kumalo was waiting, but just ushered away by the lanky Lungasani and Lela, and kept in play by Henriks. Ian McLeod being a referee's assessor and watching over Fike Daniels is also incidentally the mentor of Jerome Damon who's set to be going to the World Cup as South Africa's representative he's on the short list of 37 and one of his others as this ball eludes all and Itafia picks up Matthew Dyer is also on his list but he's also getting married this weekend believe it or not to his longtime girlfriend Esty so Matthew Dyer be having a good celebration on the near side might have a milkshake or two as well to celebrate as good referees do avoiding the alcohol free kick goes the way of Supersport United though of Swallows rather after the surge by Malulega for Supersport 
Uh, Malalege couldn't believe the call. But, uh, gallantly jogs back to his position. United remain in front by one. Turns and uh, nearly a little bit of mountaineering by Murabanya. September nearly putting the ball into uh, his own technical area. Oh, a challenge in the middle of the park. Now Swallows have a free kick as Basuma goes down. Morgan Gould and uh, Collins Masuma clashing. Gould with a big fresh air, fresh air golfing terminology for a uh, big swing and a miss. So, four man wall, Clake, Marabanya, September, Malulega stand protecting the uh, precious parts, as it were. Just to do by over at the Swallows. Where will he go? Goes into the area, and that is going to be another goal. Lumisani Dlele rose above all and nodded in for his first goal for Swallows since rejoining from Sundowns. Lumisani Dlele has the celebration, he has the goal, and he has Swallows back on level terms. And that's exactly what they wanted. He's been ineffective in previous uh, runs out for Moroga Swallows, but this time a brave run by Dlele who went in for the challenge. Emil Baron came out of his area. And when it comes to Lumasani and Lera, there's uh, very few players that are able to out-jump keepers with their heads only. But he's so tall, he might even suffer from altitude sickness. Lumasani and Lela has found the second Swallows equaliser of the game. No, this is not looking overly good. There's a couple of injury problems, it seems, for Sivisport United. Emil Baron like he's uh, clutching out to his left side. And he was the man that collided with uh, Lugusani Dlela. But another man getting underneath it, I think, was uh, Morgan Gould. Certainly a collision here that uh, Emil Baron will be just a little worried about. Some ice water coming out, coming over the stomach of uh, Emil Baron. Jackie McCordace, the... the uh, Physiotherapists, one of the foremost physiotherapists. Well, an awkward collision. Lumisani and Lela of them all look like he might very well have been uh, the one to have the worst fall. Either way, it's uh, Maroga Swallows who find themselves back in this game. So Emil Baron. If anything, it might look like his left leg might have uh, twisted or something. Either way, Emil Baron is uh, taking the full time allowed before getting back into this game. Questions are whether or not he will continue to play. Now, it's a good thing it's a warm evening here at uh, Super Stadium in Atridgeville, and I'll tell you why. There's at least the opportunity for the players to keep a little warmer. If it were a cold night, this would be utterly awful for uh, anybody that's trying to keep warm out in the park. And I'm talking about the assistant referees, the referee, and the rest of the players. So Milberon just getting strapped up after the uh, stomach problem, it seems. And only a second start for Supersport United. Man of the match in his debut against Molody Sundowns. So, one of the Swallows fans joined by a Kaiser Chiefs fan for this evening. Although well, many of the Kaiser Chiefs fans are actually supporting Sebasport United. It's on the far side with many of the United fans. Verena Zobel and Gavin Hunt both look on anxiously. Zobel would no doubt be wanting to uh, get this match back underway, see if uh, Swallows 
can continue to pressurise the injured Baron and perhaps snatch a winner. Supersport United, though, might very well be relieved that uh, Baron can continue to play. So the Supersport United fans not very happy that this side have again conceded an equaliser. The defence has not been nearly as good as it has been in the past. And it's surprising when you consider the quality of Kumalo and Gould in particular. They've not defended set pieces particularly well. Eventually, it's uh, Tavo September who goes on his way, stays on his feet quite nicely, and looks over the top and sees Lafour. Marshall Henrik's happy to call corner kick. And a uh, decent slide from Marshall Henrik, just coming across from the far side of the park to cover for his uh, left back Richie. Taken short and quickly by Clay to Lafour. Fed to Clayton with a right foot in, curling away from Itafia's goal, but it's still alive for Supersport. Perhaps the volley is on, no. Come back to the far side, inside the area, and it'll bound straight through to Greg Itafia as it's shielded by Hendricks. Tell you that uh, Gavin Hunt is fuming with uh, what's been happening, and Mr. Busane Zongo has been ordered to take off the uh, warm up top. And, uh, looks like he'll be making his way onto the park. Inside to my September. Down the line, Mongalo's made the run, and Mongalo gets on the end of it, but he passed his man inside from September. Play out, says the referee, and rightly so. September went down a little too easily, perhaps, and yeah, Suma with a chance to run at the opposition. Who's he going to run at now? And he pass the position. He opts to just fin back to uh, Kumalo. So Kumalo calling for it from Richie on the near side. In the meantime, though, I can tell you a substitution is taking place, and uh, the youngster on debut, Tandani Tumaelo, is going to make way on debut. It's uh, been impressive, but Masbasani Zongo, who some feel should be heading off to Egypt for the FIFA Under 20 World Cup. Going to get the opportunity. Clayton picks it up on that far side. Inside the area, Lafour was up for it on the volley. Oh, you can't miss out on those. Tabo Mongalo, a huge side. The depression sets in at Super Stadium. How could you swing and miss with a chance like that? Score of Swallow's second goal. And Lela does the one two. Controls on the near side. Back to Kumalo. Oh, a little inside out, a little too long over Tuturupa's head, but Ramachka Patlele keeps it in place spectacularly on the far side. Uses the wet turf in for number three and away by Morgan Gould. Only just Lucas Anjela lurking behind him. The follow up effort from Runken goes wide.
So this is looking out to be a very interesting finish and Fundo Shimano looking to finish it off the Swallows here with a third. Can't find it, couldn't quite find the target. He's taken three shots a goal now as uh, Fundo Shimano and he'll be looking to continue taking cracks at Baron's goal. Swallows know that Emil Baron picked up what seems to be a rib injury of sorts a short while ago and any smart side will be looking to exploit that. You've got to try shots from all over the park. Certainly got to try the long-range efforts. If you find an injured keeper, you test him in every way you can. Just make sure you hit the target. And uh, oftentimes, you end up scoring. Oh, well away by Malulenga. New man on. Masbusan is Zongo. Up to the far side. Clayt. Playing the same position, but not today. Zongo's playing in the middle of the park. Clayt turns his defender inside out, but eventually Batlele recovers. And that's the captain of the FIFA Under-20 World Cup side, the Yamajita for South Africa. Zongo, though, who came on a short while ago for... Supersport United has been dropped from the squad. Ball in towards the back post and uh, all important touch by Keegan Ritchie. All away. So Morgan Gould has the attempted long throw here. Long it is. Now this could test it tough here. Bounds out, but only as far as Shimano who can't clear. Zongo looked to set up a crack, but didn't take it. Lafour again fails to control. Marabanya over the top. Side. Now uh, Collins Masuba looking to control again. Can perhaps find a winner for Swallows. Oh, Nwula Maslela flag up quickly and uh, saying free kick going to Supersport United. The infringement by the Zambian international. I hate to sound tongue in cheek, but it looks like he's actually lost weight. Top from uh, Ashraf Hendricks and uh, Suma getting involved with his captain. The one two. Control again in the middle of the park, this time by Malulege. Mongalo sits it on his way. Could he set up a square ball here for Lafour? And uh, the touches again continue to let Supersport United down. Uh, Luis Dela setting up, going for the spectacular. It was wonderful control from the. Uh, striker who stands nearly two meters tall ten minutes to go that would really have irked Gavin Hunt who used to coach him of course at Swallows he's already got one against his former coach Keegan Ritchie coming off the arm of uh, the youngster in only his second game only 19 years old but, uh, he started was identified by Supersport United as a talent was Keegan Ritchie now he's playing against them tonight Top of September. Slight delay here. So Ruba Swallows, the next game is uh, against Budvest Bits at Dobsonville Stadium next Wednesday. We'll be looking to claim uh, full three points against Bits at home. Maybe still hoping for the three points here, Zobel with oh, no, intensity no. on his face oh, 
instructions to Kamalo, and this time puts his body on the line for a big clearance from Morgan Gould. September gets it away, though. And again, Anthony Lefort fails to control. Gavin Hunt simply turns his back on his striker. Well, what more can you do? You can score goals, can uh, the Liberian. Unfortunately, he can't seem to control the ball any other time. Oh, United away again, Mongalo. This time he's offside, surely. And uh, Moses Pale, no doubt, swings up the arm. The flag raised offside against Anthony Lafort. For all intents and purposes, seems to be clearly offside. So time after time, Supersport United set up tune, chance after opportunity, failed to take advantage, and they might very well be punished tonight. Two goals, both in the air. Another free kick going Swallows way, and this is how they got their last goal in Moraga Swallows from a free kick in an almost identical position. It flew into the head of Lungasani and Lela, who buried it. He nearly took uh, Morgan Gould and Emil Barod with him. It certainly seems to have snatched at least two points away from Supersport United. Emil Barod. If the injury is uh, going to get to him, Lifa Tuturupa over it again. Will they try the same tactic? It was effective last time, I don't see why they won't. Glenna will be the target man. This time they go to the near side. They get another from a set piece, but it's offside. It's offside. It's not going to count. Nombula Masilela with the flag up. And I'm sad to say, Nombula Masilela has got this one wrong. She's got it wrong. How crucial that could be. Lugasan and Glenna knew that he had found the back of the net for the second time against his former coach, against his former club. But denied by the assistant. And he'll be very disappointed with that, as will Swallows fans. But set pieces are a distinct problem for Supersport United at the moment. They failed to deal with the height of Lungasani and Lela. And the Feds trying to deal with set pieces of all sorts. Now Clayt inside the area. Can he snatch a winner here? Oh! Dan Clayt smashes one into the roof of the net. And Supersport United have taken the league completely against the run of play here. And Moroga Swallows are really going to have something to say about this. Dane Clayt allowed all sorts of freedom inside the area and Dane Clayt snatches what might very well prove to be the winner in this game. It was a wonderfully taken goal from a wonderful player who's been with his side now for five seasons. He gets a just reward for all his toil this evening. Watch this ball control, a man straight out of the School of Excellence when he made his debut for United back in the 0405 season in the Coca-Cola Cup. And look at what he's done now, he's snatched what might very well be the winner. Clayt out of picture has been given a yellow card for his celebrations. But you've got to look at the situation and ask questions. It's a poor call on the far side of the park. And Moroga Swallows were denied a legitimate goal. Bear in mind, as Supersport United were against Mamalodi Sundowns in their last league game. But suddenly, very, very suddenly, it's turned around for United, who might claim all three points at home tonight. Is there a strike back from Swallows here? Basuma making the run again, just over the head of Vundo Shumana. Well, away by Letlani Maribanya, who's been so impressive. He set up the first goal, he scored the second goal, and was involved in the build-up for the third. And doing it as well with uh, a pass knee, certainly for me, says Letlani Maribanya, might be the uh, man that Kevin Hunt has needed to be playing to make the difference tonight. Letlani Maribanya, outstanding performance. So the substitution in the meantime has taken place for Moroga Swallows as uh, Kakiso Denge makes his way onto the park for the final few minutes. Former Vitz man is on to replace Dabi Rankin in the midfield for the final few minutes. Corner kick it is. Ashraf Henriks knows he needs to defend from here. The 
They've been unbeaten against Swallows for four years. They look to be holding on to that record now. Supersport United, can they get another? They do get another. Running in at the back post, Tabo Wongalo claims it. And Tabo Wongalo punishes Swallows from the set piece. Oh, look at the scoreline. It's 4-2. Do you remember the scoreline at 4-2? Go back a few years and the excitement might just build up. Gatlejo Machijo came on as a second half substitute at this very stadium two years ago. Well, it was last year, back in May last year, two seasons ago. And scored four goals in the second half to claim a 4-2 win. Tabo Mongalo's just made the score exactly that with a wonderful piece of improvisation. A huge boot. It's only his second game in the PSL for Supersport United and Tabo Mongalo has got his first league goal. He got one in the MTN8 and that's not a bad return. Two goals in three games and he's yet to actually get a start for Supersport United. A remarkable record for the young Mongalo. But still, Swallows will be reeling at not having been allowed to take the lead quite legitimately at 3-2 in this game. It looks like they're going down to United tonight. The ball bounding around and uh, free kick goes the way of Broga Swallows. And Anthony Lefort just having a couple of big words at uh, Keegan Ritchie, who seems completely oblivious to the uh, call from Anthony Lefort. Back live. He's reverted. side of the park over the top swallows good stealing for another here Sibisisa Kumalo well great save from Moron top draw with his right hand oh, as he pulled something in the ribs again like a uncomfortable moment for Baron, but a wonderful reflex save. That was on target, and that was hit like a tracer bullet. From the corner kick, low and flat, and away by Gould. Zuturupa looking to hit it, and not far wide. Emil Baron didn't look to be too troubled initially, but I think he's just continuing to battle with uh, the injury to his ribs. And as the effort gets taken, I can tell you that. Uh, it's going to be the substitution here. Well, he played for the University of Pretoria, Tabo Mulego, and he's going to make his way onto the park for Anthony Lafour. More, I would suggest, as uh, an opportunity to count the clock down rather than anything else. Perhaps give him a run with uh, some of the so-called big boys. So this five minutes that's been added time after the 90, I can confirm, means... Uh, it's pretty much all down, I would suggest, to uh, Neil Baron's injury after... Della scored the then equaliser at 2 2. This one of the new men on, Denge to Bachele. They can't quite cut it back on the inside. Just look at the slightly longer ball as well. There was a diagonal option for him. Inside the area. There we get chip over the top and the offside call. Some against Schumana.
Long ball forward, little uh, nod over the top. United probing for a fifth here. the option still just under three minutes of uh, added time to play plenty of time for some action but it looks like United will steal the points at home tonight Looking for options, he's lost out in the middle of the park. He's won it back, but illegally so, says uh, Fike Daniels, who just puts out a hand to say, Calm down. United want to take quickly, but uh, being allowed to do so. Some challenge by Richie. Came away with the ball, but uh, to be fair, Zongo had to move his leg out the way to avoid being hit. That's why Fike Daniels actually made the call. but clearance away from Shivambu. Now Molego lays it on to Clayton. Molego inside the area. Molego looking for five. Can't get it here. Gould. Not of the heads, and it's won by Tabo Mulego. Challenge from the former University of Pretoria player. Surupa couldn't quite control, and he's hacked his man down on the far side. Free kick goes the way of Supersport United. Tieti Mahua touches the back of his neck. And uh, accepts an apology from uh, Tsutsurupa, came crashing into uh, Mowa. United pushing for another shape to uh, shot taken towards Itafia's goal. Couldn't quite shake the uh, upright of Greg Itafia, but uh, Jiri keep it down. And, uh, good control on the near side. This game, however, is petering out towards uh, Supersport United win. And that is the end of the Samsa Premiership encounter. Fayek Daniels looked at his watch and says that is where we're going to end it, lads. Celebrations all around for uh, the Supersport United players. And there's a couple of lucky faces. I can tell you that uh, Baron is not very happy. It looks like he might have picked up something to his ribs. Greg Itafia. Did he lose a little confidence while he was in goal? Certainly the fourth goal looked like he was just a little too focused on uh, trying to control his defence. Either way, there's smiles all around. Swallows will be disappointed when they see what transpired, how easily they could have taken the lead at 3-2 uh, when it was still 2-2. Being denied a goal, Lungasani and Lela, seven times this evening. We saw the back of the net, but ultimately, it's only six of those goals that'll count. Supersport United, luck has gone their way tonight after they were disallowed a legitimate goal against Mamalodi Sundowns. Last game they played, they've got it back through uh, a game here. At full time from the Super Stadium in Attridgeville, it's Supersport United four, Moroga Swallows two. And uh, Maldubanya is the man of the match, and uh, what a great game you had. You were just holding things there in the midfield, and uh, you really got credit for that. Yeah, we just tried to be as simple as we could, and try and go forward as much as we can. But then uh, you also seem to have uh, got off your starting blocks towards the end of the game, and then uh, you got the worthy points. 
Yeah, there at the end, they nearly went uh, against us. But then, since we, uh, our fighting spirit, we came back and then we won the game for the team. Okay, and uh, congratulations. This is what you got for yourself. And uh, once again, uh, keep up the good way. Right, thank you very much, Max. Uh, and I'll also be joined by Gavin Hunt, and uh, that's the coach at uh, Super Sport United. And uh, here's the man that, uh, that is obviously a, a very, very happy man, Gavin. If you just, uh, well, let's have Bob Azobel before, uh, Gavin. Coach, just looking at uh, the game today, you came back with Nomvet and suddenly just f uh, your wheels fell apart. Uh, I don't think so. I think there was uh, some uh, individual individual uh, mistakes and I think the, the result reflected not the game what we see today. I think we see a very good match with both teams, from both teams, and with the 4 2 is, will not reflect it. I think uh, draw, we can have a draw. You're right, because you always complain about goals, but today we saw six of the best and also one or two incidents there. You might have thought uh, that could have been a goal, could have been allowed. Yes, uh, but uh, this is in football, yes. But uh, we make so much, uh, three goals, I think there's individual mistakes, especially this the three two, where we have the ball and uh, nobody knows who should kick it and then they shoot their, the super sports guys shoot it into the goal. But we, normally we have the ball. And so they must make a decision. So the, I think if this situation not happen, it will be a draw. And this will see, I would think we, I, we deserve it. Well, unlucky coach and good luck against Vest next week. Pardon? Good luck against Vest next week. Thank you very much. And also, uh, Gavin Hunt is the man that has been really waiting for this. Uh, just after that game against Sundowns, that one all draw, I'm sure, Gav, this is what you waited for, just to go out there and break this down. Yeah, you know, Moxie, we, I think we show a lot of character because I thought we let them back in the game twice, you know, from two dead ball situations, which we pride ourselves on. You know, we work hard on the training ground. And I thought we were poor, poor, poor today with the two dead ball situations. Look, it's not easy to play against Naglela. But I mean, uh, it was, we were poor on that today. And, uh, but we fought back well. We showed some good character. And a couple of new, young, good players, you know, giving a good chance today. Uh, yes, in fact, uh, I was impressed by the new youngsters. But also, Gav, if you look at uh, Lafoy, your key player, when he is just not getting that touch, what goes through your mind as a coach? Do you insist with him or you just say, maybe I could just give him a break? Yeah, you know, Mark, I'm a bit stubborn, you know. I'm a bit of the old school type of coach where I believe, you know, you've got to persevere and persevere. And, and I've persevered now six, well, it's seven, eight games now with him. And, uh, you know, I'll keep going with the boy. I keep believing the boy. You know, he's got to work a little bit harder on his game off the ball, which is a problem. But he knows that. And uh, but I still got great belief in him. Okay, Gav, uh, we have believed in you. Then uh, we look like, uh, in fact, it looks more like you second or third on the lock, uh, surprisingly. Well, it's, uh, you know, actually, the, this league is, is, is madness, isn't it? The way it is up and down. And, and I mean, as I said, if we had got a result uh, on, on, on Saturday against Sunday, we'd have been top of the league. Can you believe it? Well, well done today. Yeah, yeah, we had home. It's important for us to win. Thanks, sir. Well, uh, that's very interesting that uh, Super Sports United were lying 11th on the log coming to this game. And uh, just confirmation later, they could be lying second or third. Lindani will be continuing with the highlights after this. The Premier Soccer League presents the ABSA Premiership. All the goals. All the goals. All the saves. All the fans. The Absa Premiership. Recaufer.